Welcome to the Year 4 Sex and Education Relationship Meeting. Um, during the month of July, your children will be part, taking part in our Sex and Relationship Education Programme. Um, I want to just reassure you before I show you the booklet that at no point um, does uh, any of the work go beyond the Science National Curriculum. So the booklet's called You and Me. We start off talking about uh, animal families, um, looking at correct names for animals. Um, as you can see in there, the word bitch uh, will cause um, some children to gasp a little bit when they hear their teacher say that. Um, but it's important that we use the correct vocabulary um, and names for animals as we would for parts of the body. And we ask children to think about other animal families um, and get them to draw them and label them. We then go on to the generation game. Uh, looking at animals that might not necessarily have an obvious life cycle um, as a mammal. So we look at the life cycle of the frog. Um, it's a cut and stick activity. So the children um, make that life cycle um, in the form of a circle, showing um, how the frog develops um, from the tadpole right through to the adult frog. And then we look at the life cycle of the caterpillar. And again, your child might have already previously looked at the life cycle, um, but obviously being a caterpillar changing into a butterfly, it's very, very different from the human or a mammal life cycle. Um, so we get children to, to think again about how that happens and to draw it. Moving on from that, we think about families. Um, and we get children to think about the family tree. Um, obviously at this point uh, members of staff need to know their children very well and be sensitive to the fact that not all children will live with both mum and dad. Some might live in foster families, um, some might live um, with a single parent, may not live with brothers and sisters, so showing sensitivity at this point is key. We then move on to looking at the advantages and disadvantages of having a sibling. Um, or being an only child, um, being a boy, being a girl, etc. Um, and lots of discussion around um, advantages and disadvantages of each of those statements. We then look at the human life cycle. Um, so the baby's born, um, grows and develops, the young boy will, or girl will mature to an, ad an adolescent. An adult female and male may decide to have a baby. Um, a female carries the egg until the baby develops. And then we look at how a baby develops in the womb. So um, what can be seen, um, obviously 12 weeks, scan picture, and um, baby looks pretty fully developed by then. We then move on to growing and changing. Um, and we encourage the children to think about how they've grown up and changed since they were a baby. So what can they do now that they couldn't do? Uh, there's the back of the adult frog life cycle, egg, tadpole, tadpole with legs, froglet, etc., um, which is the cut and stick activity. Uh, at the end of the booklet, there's a few um, websites that may be useful that you can uh, go to um, if you want to discuss this with your child. Your child will bring the booklet home um, after the week in July. Um, to talk about what they've learned um, and to, to give you an opportunity to share other information that you may or may not wish your child to have at this stage in year four. Uh, year five and year six also will be completing their sex ed at the same time, um, but their work will be different. Year five will can work on changes to the adolescent body and year six will look at uh, relationships and what a healthy relationship is. If you wish to look at those booklets too, they're available on the website, so feel free to, to browse and go through those. But I must say, if there's anything you're concerned about or you want to talk about, please don't hesitate to contact school, um, and I will willingly go through the booklet with you and explain exactly what will happen during each of these sessions. But again, we do not go beyond Science National Curriculum. Um, so just want to reassure you that we don't talk about how babies are actually made um, so hopefully that's reassuring for you. 
Thank you.